Hey y'all, welcome back to a new video. Fucker Euphoria. Is this symbolism? I don't know. I have no idea. Is the Jolly Rancher drugs? Does it represent drugs? I don't get it. Disclaimer: I'm no film expert, but I do think the Jolly Rancher thing represents like her like uh, inability to function. Maybe. Actually, that's not even a metaphor that I try to look at. That's literally what happened. I'm just describing what happened. Like I just saw some deep metaphor. No, I <laughs> I just described what happened on screen and acted like I knew what I fuck I was talking about. I wish I could say I didn't mean any of it. Is that actually true? I mean, I thought it. Wait, wait, okay, what's pissed me off? I've seen some shit on TikTok where people have said, oh my God, Leslie's like a shit mom. Leslie's like a shit mom. The thing is, in this situation, Leslie is a single mother doing the best she fucking can. I feel like Leslie's being a fucking great mom. Like taking care of her, looking out for her. Like she's doing like the best she could do in these circumstances. You know what I mean? Like I feel like Leslie's doing a good fucking job, like a good ass job at like being a mother, like being a parent to Rue right now in like a situation like this but some fucking brain dead motherfuckers on tiktok who don't know like shit we're just like oh my god like sh what, what an asshole da -da 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 -da. like what the fuck is she supposed to do let Rue just like continue to do drugs her entire life like as a 17 year old I, you know what i mean if i'm being honest about who i am i'm a liar a thief i'm violent abusive manipulative i'm gonna be honest i was really worried i, I was really fucking worried of what they were gonna do with the ruse character like what they were gonna do going forward but i like this like introspective self-reflective like kind of shit we got going on hopefully that doesn't go to shit there's still 50 minutes left of the episode and we don't know what the fuck's gonna happen but i really like where it's going right now ali it's uh it's rue what do you want rue i just wanted to call you and tell you that i'm sorry for what i said um and I really regret it. I forgive you. Oh, this is a heavy scene. Gonna cry, maybe. Don't want to fuck up my eyeliner, though. <laughs> Jolly Rancher wasn't because of like drug related shit. Well, okay, like okay, you know, in a in a wide sense, it was drug related, but it was because of her guilt towards Ali. Whoa. Wanna help me cook? Oh, I can help. Nah, nah. You keep your stank. <laughs> Withdrawal, diarrhea, ass on the way from my food. <laughs> Yo, Ali is literally like the best like father figure character that like they could have. That's so cute. I fucking love Ali so much. Greatest character, greatest character in the show. Greatest character, top 10 character, top 10 character, top five character, top five character, top three character. And I'm not saying he's second or third. He might be number one. Part of the reason Nate loved Maddie as much as he did is because she was loyal. But it's also what scared the living shit out of him. If anyone crossed her, she'd bury them. And he had now really fucking crossed her. Okay, let's think about this from a purely logistical perspective. Why would he willingly, knowingly fuck over the person who literally had like the sex tape that could fuck up his entire life? You know what I mean? I feel like that's just bad planet. He fucked over like the one person that would do something with the fucking disc, with that fucking sex tape. If given the opportunity and the reason to do it, and he's just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do this shit anyways. Wanna well, know why? Because men are stupid. Men are stupid anything with their dicks. But we prefer customers not use phones at the tables. Has that ever been a rule at a restaurant? I've never been to a restaurant and then been like, yeah, we prefer if you don't use your phone in here. I've never heard nobody fucking say that. No one, not, not, not a, not a set or like, I don't. I've never heard that. Was that a plot point? Was that a plot point? Did they make up the phone rule for a plot point? Or have I just not been to like restaurants like in California like that? Is it because I'm from the Midwest? Is that why I don't understand? We'll never know. Because on the phone, you just kind of made it sound like, like it was an emergency. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> like you asked if I could cancel rehearsal. Oh, oh my God. She's going to break up with this bitch. He's gonna, she's going to break up with him. She's going to break up with him because he sucks. Well, not because he sucks. Cause she just because just she doesn't like him. He seems actually pretty okay. He seems like a, like a fine guy. <laughs> but like, she just doesn't like him. I been thinking about us and, and our relationship and um oh you see the look in his eyes um, he knows it's coming he knows it's coming i have a brain disorder <laughs> what the f is she is she gonna pull the fucking i yeah i'm sorry i have like cancer we can't date anymore <laughs> type of move <laughs> Just break up with them normally. Come on. You, you've been thinking a lot about our relationship because you have, a, you have a terminal brain disorder. Yeah, I just like keep thinking like little hospital visits and maybe I'll have to get out of school, stay home, you know, the little time I have left. People who do this shit are literally sick. People who do this shit are literally sick fucks. Oh my God. Why would you lie about this? 
why would you lie? Just be like, I don't like you. You're a great guy, but I'm just not feeling the emotion. And I don't think it's fair to you to be in a relationship if I'm not feeling the same way that you feel. And that's literally the perfect way to go about it. That's literally how you would go about it. Not this fucking, yeah, I'm gonna die. I feel like you're not lying to me. Lying about a terminal brain disorder? Is she, is she gaslighting him now? <laughs> is she gaslighting him? That's sick. And, and to be honest, the fact that you think I would even lie about something that awful. <laughs> Wait, pause. Pause. Is she actually gonna gaslight him because she's too scared to break up with him? Cat, what the hell? I can't believe this. You're literally trying to break up with me. No, I'm, I'm trying to help you say what you want to say. Is this some sort of like manipulation tactic you learned on some fucking incel Reddit forum? Yo! What is her issue? What the fuck is her problem? Why does she just keep going? She could have literally been like, yeah, I just got nervous. My bad. I'm sorry. That was not okay of me. And then she's like, yeah, but you little fucking incel little bitch boy with a tiny ass cock. Yeah, you'd say some shit like that, now wouldn't you? You'd say some shit like that, now wouldn't you, you little tiny dick little bitch boy? Beta bitch, you BB beta bitch boy. You BBB beta bitch boy. Like, come on. Lex. Hun, take these in the back and hide them in the bushes. You really think she's gonna stop herself? Your sister's very emotional. Yes. Can I, can I laugh? <laughs> I'm sorry, but Cassie and Lexi's mom is so funny. Yo, this is Nate. I'm busy. Leave a message in the B. Yo, this is Nate. I'm Cassie needs that phone taken away. Cassie needs that phone taken away. Cassie needs the phone taken away because she's going to be going a little obsessive, a little compulsive, and that's not good for her mentally. She's going after some dude who don't care about her who don't care about her in the slightest at all. She's not gonna get nothing from this, so she's gonna keep draining her, draining, 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 draining herself over and over and over until ultimately she's gonna sit there broken and more broken than she was at the very beginning when this whole thing started. Well, I'm pointing out the principle. What principle? The don't fuck your best friend's boyfriend principle. That is what I am trying to tell you, mom. They weren't boyfriend and girlfriend, God! I don't care, I just wanna watch my millionaire matchmaker. <laughs> If I ever go down the wine mom route, I hope I end up like Lexi's mom. <laughs> I don't care. I want to watch my millionaire matchmaker. Why are we giving Nate a gun? Nate does not need a gun. Nate does not need a gun in the slightest. Out of anyone in this show, Nate needs it the least. See, I'm not a mess, but I do love a fight. Ugh, it's the best. Totally underrated. In the long run, not so much, but in the moment. It's fucking amazing. Ugh. I feel like that's toxic as hell. That's toxic as hell. Because me personally, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'd rather have sex. <laughs> I don't know if I like them as a couple. I don't know if I like them as a couple, but these individual moments they have together is like cute and sweet. I feel like they should be besties. They should be best friends. Okay, that's not a good situation actually. They most likely shouldn't interact just because like whatever, but I feel like they'd be really good best friends. I feel like they'd be a really cute like bestie relationship. You know what I mean? Whoa! Is he? He's in her fucking. He's in her shit with a fucking gun. God damn, this motherfucker is insane. I hate this son of a bitch. He's such a son of a bitch. Fuck, 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 fuck. Look at him. Look at look at him. Look at him. Like, look. He looks like a fucking incel. He looks like a fucking incel. He's a fucking. He's a fucking school shooter incel. Literally just a different font. It, it's not all just greasy. Blah, 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 blah. It's also the jocks. Gotta watch out for them too. What a piece of shit. What a piece of fucking shit. I don't like this son of a bitch. I just want to say, with the most, da -da 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 -da. Nate, oh my god, just if he fucking went to therapy like five years ago, this shit could have been all avoided. I'm just saying. And the thing is, these motherfuckers had the money. They were rich as hell. They had the money. The patriarchy makes some crazy motherfuckers because then they're like, oh my god, we we, we can't get we can't go to therapy because then if we're in touch with our emotions, we're women. Little do they know, being a woman's the best thing in the goddamn world. Come on. Oh, now he's gonna do. He's gonna be. Like, I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, I'm crazy. Oh. <laughs> That's unconsensual kissing. This is so traumatizing. Did, what the fuck is this? God damn. And then he trails his head through her boobs. What a fucking sick creep. What a sick fuck pussy ass bitch. I hope he...
I found out about you and my dad from uh, from this desk. Yeah, he uh, he secretly records every encounter he has, and you know he's been doing it. Well, well, honestly, as long as I can remember. Wait, so he stole it from Maddie to give back to Jules? So like, that's like a good action though. But he also traumatized the fuck out of Maddie while doing it. How the fuck am I supposed to feel about this? I don't know if I put the clip in the video because I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do while editing. But he said earlier that the reason he doesn't want this shit to get out is because he wants to inherit his dad's business. And it's not good for business if his dad's like a pedophile because the people aren't going to want him to buy pedophiles or like the pedophile company, regardless if it's owned by his son or not. So he's just doing this for his own self gain because Nate is a fucking piece of shit bitch. I fucking hate him. Hello? Hey. Pack a suitcase. I'll be at your place in ten. And stay at my house. Okay. Love you. I love you too. Yo, you're getting played. You're getting played like a damn fucking fiddle. Damn fucking fiddle. God. God. Getting played like it's fucking Monopoly. Like it's fucking Monopoly. You're going bankrupt, bitch. Sorry. And that's the fucking episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the episode. Comment your thoughts on my video. Comment your thoughts on my commentary. Comment your thoughts on life. Make sure you subscribe and turn post notifications on so you never miss an upload. Have a good night, y'all. Bye-bye.